what is the ratio of ingredients in order to make concrete? I mean, there's a bunch of different mixed designs that you could be going after, but let's talk about just basic concrete. So we're going to have three things in this. We're going to have a cement component, a sand component, and a gravel component. Each of these are pretty, in, uh, pretty important individually, but starting with the Portland cement, most commonly you want to go with a type GU or type N, and that stands for type general use or type normal. It could be called other stuff depending on where you're located. Sometimes it's called type 1 Portland cement, sometimes it's called type 10, but type N or type GU are probably the most common names. And if you're still not sure which one to get, just ask for Portland cement, the most popular one. That's probably what you're looking for. And when you're talking about a ratio for concrete, this is the one. That's the one that we're comparing everything to. And it doesn't matter if we're talking about little plastic containers like this, or a five gallon bucket, or a shovel full, or a wheelbarrow full. As long as we have the ratio of one to the next in proportion, then our concrete mix is going to work. So we have one part Portland cement. Then we need two parts sand. The type of sand that you use should be a graded, sharp, sterilized masonry application sand. It's a lot of qualifying details there. Take a look at it. Does it have stones in it? That's not as good because you really want to have just sand for your concrete mix. You're, we're going to be adding gravel separately. It would be great if we didn't have gravel already mixed in with our sand component. Or at least when I'm purchasing ingredients, that's how I like to do it. So we have two parts sand, it's sharp sand, it's not play sand. That's probably the one takeaway I want you to have here about the sand component. If you're at the hardware store, you're looking for the right stuff, you see play sand, it sure looks like the right stuff, and it's not. The reason why it's not is because it's tumbled. It no longer has jagged, irregular shapes to the grains of sand. It now has a rounded, ball-like appearance on the microscopic level, when used in a concrete mix, it doesn't facilitate a very strong mix. You're basically trying to take a bunch of tennis balls and glue them together and it doesn't work very well. And so that's why you really want to use a sharp sand as opposed to a rounded or tumbled sand. One part Portland cement, two parts sharp sand, four parts gravel. Now the type of gravel that you use will depend on what's available to you. This is a general construction grade gravel, or you might commonly see half inch clear or three quarter inch clear used in concrete mixes. More importantly is the ratio. If I have a bucket of Portland cement, two buckets of sand, four buckets of gravel, mix that together with the minimum amount of water that you need in order to achieve a uh, well mixed uh, mix, and something that you can place and finish. You don't want to overwater concrete. It's one of the biggest mistakes that people who are kind of new to this tend to do. Too much water makes it easy to mix the concrete. Sounds good, right? Makes it easy to place the concrete. That also sounds good. It totally compromises the strength. Don't do it. So use the minimum amount of water. One part Portland cement, two parts sharp sand, four parts gravel, and that is how you make concrete.